Hello everybody, um, I'm Stephen from Here in Prox International. Um, thank you for joining us on the video today. Um, I have with me today Charlotte, um, also from Here in Prox International. Today we're going to have a chat about the Equalert wireless home alert system. Um, and we're going to have a chat with Charlotte as um, she's not aware of the product yet. Um, so I'm here to teach her a little bit about the product, how it operates, how to install it and uh, ask any questions that she does have. Um, so, I'll let Charlotte um, introduce herself as well. Thanks Stephen. I'm Charlotte, um, part of uh, Hearing Products International and the new product is totally different to anything I've seen but I do have a couple of questions that are natural questions okay. that I'd like to ask if I can. Um, my husband's hard of hearing and we do have smoke alarms already. What what would the parts of the equipment do for us in our own home environment if we're on, say, two different levels? One's got a smoke alarm, one's got a detector, and the other one's got a smoke alarm, but we haven't got anything else. So because he's hard, hard of hearing, I wanted to get something that, in case of a fire, really, that we could be able to just get out safely. Um, so would it be like... Um, when they fit the smoke alarms, would it be the same to detect a fire? It, it, a few elements to that. The, now, in terms of your current smoke alarm system, uh, don't change anything to do with that. Don't, in, don't uh, uninstall it, don't take anything out. Basically, the, the smoke alarm you have right now, keep it as it is. Okay. okay. The reason for that is because the smoke alarm system that we have, the alert system, isn't just a smoke alarm. Basically, in the unit itself, is also included in here, is basically a sound sensor. Oh, right. And one of the, 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 the plus points of that, because obviously with your old smoke alarm system, it's not going to alert this system. Yeah. So what we've, we've incorporated is basically a sound sensor that will go next to your old smoke alarm. Okay. okay. Then your new smoke alarm then can be placed in an alternative place in the house, i.e. upstairs or downstairs, just the opposite to what your current one is. Okay. So when your old alarm goes off, it will trigger the sound sensor, okay, that will then trigger the mobile vibrating pager, okay? Yeah. So everyone can see. That's the pager unit that we that comes with it. Okay. So do we have to have that with us? Do we have to actually hold that physically or can no. we put it on a desktop or on top of the TV or Yeah, it can be sat on the side as such. Oh, okay. Right. Okay, and it will alert you to which one of the, the devices is actually triggered. Um it could be attached to your belt. It's got a little belt clip on the back of it there as well. Okay. Yeah. And that has a two year battery life. Okay. okay. So it's not something you need to kind of run away and get back to it um, automatically. Okay. So you can't charge that then? You've got to put an actual battery inside? Yes, the two AA batteries that, that are in the reverse of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, they're basically in the, in, the, in the rear of it, there's two AA batteries in that. Okay. okay. Well, have a feel. Okay. It's compact, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's quite quite nice because I've got arthritis as well and it, it's easy to hold. It's yep. not That's not uncomfortable for me to stretch my fingers because of the arthritis. Yeah, it's quite sleek that. And what are, what are all these what are all these other things for then? So you've got the different alert systems that are on there, okay? Yeah. As you can see. So your first alert there will basically be for because we actually do include a bell push as well, okay? Yeah. The bell push is a, an added extra, so that could be used as a bell push, and it also has a lanyard. Um, device to, to that can be we don't include the lanyard with it but basically then it could be a panic alarm so if somebody is basically using it to, to so do i have alarm. to buy that because you said it was an additional extra do i have to buy that separate or does it all come together as it's on the unit set? it's on the wow. unit yeah I, okay I, I, everything in it is in the unit so oh, basically it's, like a, it's, a, it's a four in one unit yeah because you get the uh, vibrating pager you'll get the smoke alarm you'll get the sound sensor and the bell push as well so it's everything's included in there. So, for example, if you if you if you press the, the bell push, okay, just that's all you need to press it, okay. And what that will do then, that will trigger 
the, the actual vibrating page open, as you can see. There you go. Okay. And that's vibrating now as well. Okay. So if I'm in one it. room and, and, then, and like in the kitchen and there's a fire and Chris is in the other room, yeah. if he's got this with it, yeah, you'll that, know that'll like the yeah. alert him then, yeah, won't it? Because he can't yeah. hear it properly. And then all you need to do is press the, the button, the centre button there, and that'll reset it as you can oh, see. Right. It stops. Yeah. Oh, that's simple enough. Yeah. Isn't it? And that, again, you can sit there and vibrate, and it will make you aware that, that something's gone. And you can see then that, that because you press the bell push, it was the actual bell push icon that had lit yeah. up at the time. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So with that, as I say, you've got your sound sensor that can be used. With, um, as I say, it can be used with a smoke alarm. It doesn't have to be. It could be then used with a burglar alarm it, for, for intruder purposes, or you could use it um, basically next to your phone to alert you that the phone was ringing or anything to that effect as well. Okay. But ultimately, it's there if you ha do have another um, smoke alarm already in the house. Just, oh, is, sorry, I've yeah. just <laughs> pressed that by mistake. <laughs> As you can see, it's going to I better give you that part. <laughs> Sorry. That's absolutely fine. But yeah, there you, well, you can see what it does anyway. Um, the, the, this has three sensitivity settings on it as well. Yeah. Okay. And um, again, exactly the same as the pager. This has a two year life on the batteries that are in there. And what type of batteries do again, you have to? Can you change them yourself once they've run yes. down? Yeah, these are two AA batteries, as you can see. Oh, right, so just a good strong battery yeah. then. Now, this does because this is a safety unit and it and it is it is for the home it, for safety purposes. Yeah. The one thing that this will not do, for example, if I take the battery out of it now, okay, if I can do that, struggle a little bit with this because it's not the easiest to get them out. But basically, if I take the battery out of this unit, it actually won't close, so you can't then attach it to the wall. So okay. is that one? Is that one the smoke alarm then? Yes, absolutely. Because yeah. that's got you said that's got ten years. That's a lifespan of up to ten years. Yeah, the the, the, the smoke alarm itself has an, an internal battery, so you don't need to replace the batteries in this. And this has a oh. ten year lifespan on it. Okay. It also comes with two magnetic plates, yeah. so you don't have to screw it to the ceiling or anything to that effect. You've got basically a double sided sticky pad for the the. Um, magnets go on the ceiling and then another one that goes onto this and that right. will then attach to the magnet on the ceiling okay and then to actually set the unit basically you turn the, the dial there and that will then basically alarm the system sort of activates okay. it yeah, yeah activates and can it only go on, on the ceiling or can you put it on a wall you could put it wherever you, if you want to really it's ideally on the, ce the ceiling and um, but it because this unit is not a normal standard um smoke detector right. normally smoke detectors would basically once the smoke reaches the unit it would it would alert it whereas this one's an optical um alert so what this does it actually visibly sees the smoke it sees the particles in the air oh. um and then what it'll do then is it will alert the system so for example if we if we press that again then this unit will then be triggered Oh my word! Yeah, oh, that loud. hurt me here. Yeah, it's loud, really loud. Wow! Yeah. There you go. Well, I think Chris would be able to hear yeah. that. Yeah, exactly. There you Gosh. go. Gosh. That's the unit again. Okay, and again, if we reset. But yeah, yeah, it is super loud. Yeah, it's I have tinnitus in my ear, and sometimes it, it's like, ouch! Yeah. You know, when you hear noises like that. Yeah, it is, it's super loud. Um, but yeah, that's the unit. Um, so, as I say, that could go in. Anywhere you want, but the optimum place really is anywhere that's going to be a hazard. Unless so on the ceiling, already, yeah. Near the, ceiling, yeah. Near the kitchen, near any kind of electrical appliances uh, that you think there could be potential kind of electrical fires and things like that. Um, but yeah, and, and, and if need be, get somebody around us that just for home safety for fire, that side of things, and they could advise you far better. So could we just fit that ourselves, or do you have to come out and do it? No, it's easy to install. Um, very, very easy to install. Um, you wouldn't need our, our, our assistance in it, the installation side of things. Um, these are the two magnets that come with it. Okay, as you can see. Um, that, that one would go on the ceiling. As you yeah. see, the double sided sticky pad. There. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And the other one then would go on that, literally onto the back, bottom of that. And that would then stick to the ceiling. And then you just pull this off and it sticks on. Yeah, 100%. So no drilling and screwing or anything to that effect. I could probably so, do that then, yeah. don't I? Yeah, yeah. Right. Just, just about. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that, that basically is is the unit. Um, if and how much are they? Because you know we're both pensioners, and it's we've got to think about costs. And I know it would be a good thing for us, but how much would we have to pay for it? Or could we get it from like a, a social club or? council or anywhere like that some some of the councils that we work with would then supply them for free anyway and uh, depending on the council themselves but i we, we we can't dictate that it's some, something to the council themselves and um, the the unit itself um purchase wise is, is on our uh, i'm not 100 at the retail cost on it at the moment um okay well maybe you uh, could give me one if i take one of these nine. If yeah. I take one of these with me then, could I take price list as well? Your cush can, yeah, yeah. I'd, 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 I'd like to take that with you Okay, anyway. and we can have a look, we we'll have a cup of tea and that. Yeah, 100%. The, the, the last thing as well, just in case, if you, as I say, this the, the bell push, it's not a major part of it, it is a smoke alarm in, in essence, but if you were placing this outside and it was going to be wet weather and conditions, we do give you a unit to keep it in as well to keep it dry. Oh, that's nifty, yeah. isn't yeah. it? So you can go inside there and, yeah. So you, you're not and that could go over something. a doorbell as well, couldn't 100%, it? One hundred percent. Yeah, that's what it's oh, there right, for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, indeed. Oh, good. So there you go. Um, any other questions? Um, I think because of obviously because of we at the moment we've got the upstairs and the downstairs, so we'd definitely probably need um two, two whole sets, would we, or just one you, you, set? You, if you've got a smoke alarm at the moment. I wouldn't get two sets. You wouldn't, okay. you, you wouldn't be necessary, really. But um, then, if we ever move into a bungalow, could yes. we take it all with us? Would it like be ours to move with us when we go? One hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, right. yeah, so it's portable then as yeah. well. You know. Yeah. Th further down the line, we are looking at extras, like additional things that can be paired to it. Um, this is the unit that is at the moment. Well, further down the line, we're looking at things like maybe CO two detectors. And so on so we are looking to expand it um but we're, at the moment as i say we've kind of we've kind of <coughs> made it a bit of a, a, bit of a flagship thing anyway in terms of there being a four in one and that that's the main thing for us it's it kind of covering a lot more bases than just um a smoke alarm um, but that was going to be one of my next questions actually because uh, yeah. we've got a smoke alarm yeah so could it would it work with that smoke alarm or we would have to be out by yours no 100 percent. you could as i say you could keep your smoke alarm um, and basically just put the um, sound sensor next to the smoke alarm. Instantly, the, smoke, the sound sensor has three sensitivity settings inside it as well. So, for example, if you wanted to have it on a low sensitivity, so it would literally only pick up something nice and close, put it to lower sensitivity, put it next to the current smoke alarm. If that smoke alarm triggers, that'll trigger the sound sensor, and then it will trigger off the pager. So, again, give you peace of mind that you're not going to have to worry about anything at all. Right, so I think... Chris has got moderate hearing, yep. um, so you know the tone from that, because that was quite high pitch, yes. could that be like lessened or the tone to come down or anything like that? No, um, it, we, we, it, I, I understand entirely that somebody may find the, the, the sound from a smoke alarm um, uncomfortable, yeah. but, but unfortunately that's exactly what they're designed to be. Um, because obviously they want to alert you that something is is, is a serious problem mm. um, and you know it's better to have something that's uncomfortable for your ears than, than have something that's tragic yeah um, definitely so yeah no we, we we wouldn't want anyone to be able to alter the sound in it because uh, right. it's it's going to be a safety issue if they okay. can reduce the sound in that and they turn the sound right down and the alarm goes off and they've not got the pager next to them um yeah it could be a really bad situation so no the the, the, the sound is designed yeah to be extremely loud and make sure people are aware of it and, oh, and if they can't hear it because they are hard of hearing it or completely deaf then at least they've got the page then that will vibrate and flash letting them know that they need to, to, to basically um, get out of the house as quick as they can. Okay so we've only got like two levels so what yep. if we had like you know like one of these townhouses so you go up a level yeah or you're in a flat so how many of those would we, would we need for that then? Again, you, you, it, it depends on how many you want for, for, for your home. The, the, you can pair other units to it. So you can have more than one smoke alarm paired to the one um, the, 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 the one pager. As I said, at, at the moment, we, we're selling these as a pack. We're not sending them as individual units. Yeah. Um, but you, the, the, the distance between these is, is 100 metres. Okay. Yeah, so you, well, that's you quite yeah, so a long distance if you so. had yeah, if you had one smoke alarm downstairs, the chances are it's going to pick it up upstairs at the top unit. Yeah. Um and 
again, if you had another smoke alarm in the house and you put the sound sensor with the other smoke alarm, it's, in essence, you've got two alert systems that are going to... Oh, that sounds really great. Danger. Yeah. Okay. Well, could you sort me out with some prices then? And of course I'll, can. I'll speak to Hobby and we'll, we'll probably put an order in. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, yeah, 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 yeah. that's yeah. great. Thanks for explaining it. Can I take this book away with you? Of course you? Yeah, more than welcome. And, I, and okay. as I say, if there's any, any questions at all, just give me a shout and I'll be more than happy to help. All right. Well, thank you for listening, everybody. And I, ho I hope that's helped yourselves as well. Um, and hey, have a great day. Thank you.